In this episode of Hidden Cities Extreme, that's ninja for you, man! I take on the weird and the bizarre in Tokyo, Japan. I'm Simon Yen. Oh, boy. Actor, filmmaker, and a sucker for punishment. I'm no daredevil, just an ordinary city slicker armed with a TV crew and an insatiable thirst for adventure. My mission, to uncover and face down Asia's most extreme experiences. Japan is a land of extremes that defies all explanation. The same country that brought you Godzilla gave us Hello Kitty. From the Saki, to the Kawaii, to the Komono, to Yoko Ono, Simon Yin is about to get under the skin and spend some Japanese yen. From a little known Japanese food tradition, I'm off to check out an old art form that's gone through a huge revival in recent years. Knock, knock, who's there? Japanese comedians! Long ah! Throw away all your stereotypes of Japan being a serious country. Ita! Comedy thrives in a society full of strict rules. In fact, in Japan, some of the biggest celebrities are all comedians. Comedy has been popular in Japan for centuries. Comedians used to tell funny stories to crowds on street corners, entertaining them with their clever use of wordplay. But there are also more physical forms of Japanese comedy that have really caught on in recent times. Wow, your lips are so juicy. <laughs> It takes 15 years of training to become a fully-fledged Japanese comedian. The funny men Maruko Leleisha and Isa Shinfute will try to give me a one-day comedy boot camp. And let's just say, no pain, no gain. What is the obsession with pain and torture and humiliation with Japanese comedy these days? Isa and Maruko have designed two games to show me how they create comedy through pain. So in essence, what we're playing is sushi roulette. Yeah? Three, two, one. Ara! Wasabi is the perfect torture device. It triggers off the same pain receptors in your brain as if you were exposed to tear gas. <laughs> what a terrible game! Oh. I uh, obviously didn't do the game very well or very gracefully. You say. The Japanese call these batsu or punishment games. That's ridiculous. A big part of the humor comes from the humiliation and reaction of the victim. <laughs> As with the Japanese comedy shows, the stakes increase significantly with each round, and unfortunately, so does the severity of the punishment. How is this a game? This is not a game. This is S and M. Hey! Ah! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! You guys on this way. To be a Japanese comedian, you have to go through pain. This is training. It's like hitting the boxing bag. Give it to me, baby. Ah! I know this is a nipple puncher. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Don't think. Oh. Fail. Okay. 
What happened today may not make sense to you, and you may think, oh, why is that funny? But this is what Japan is all about. This is the culture. Everything here is bizarre and extreme. I have one more um, comedy bit that I want to teach you guys. It's from America, and it's called Fist in Your Nuts. <laughs> Don't you think bald is beautiful? Coming up, I transform. Oh, boy. Into the man Japanese women dream about. I feel much more sexy already.